Good morning, y'all. It's so weird. Oh, my phone sideways, but I heard that. That's why you're supposed to hold it up. But anyway, as y'all can see, I just got off. And you see my eyes turned that way, but I'm looking directly to my camera. Maybe I need to look right there. But anyway, I don't know. Um, I just wanted to get on here quickly. Um, I just got off work from working my 12-hour shift. Um, last night, so, um, I just wanted to put my thoughts out there about, um, everybody heard about Kobe Bryant, um, and his daughter and the other passengers that was on that plane, um, yesterday, uh, when I woke up, like, I woke up close to, like, 5 p.m., and, um, That's when I first heard about it yesterday. Um, I'm not a sports fanatic. I'm not a Kobe Bryant fan. Um, so, I mean, I don't want to sound quite rude or quite mean about the whole situation. But, you know, my heart goes out to the family, of course. And, you know, my heart, I'm just, you know, not to say that he deserved to lose his life or anybody else on that plane, you know, it touched me harder when the, the kids lost their life, but, or whatever. But, the thing that really got to me the most, the, the thing that really, that I really thought about the most when it came to, um, the whole situation with the crash is, the moments. The last final moments together on that aircraft. That got me really thinking. Could you just imagine sitting on a plane with your child? It's crashing. And you probably know you're about to die. You probably know she's about to die. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't nothing you can do to at least save your baby. It makes me wonder. How they, the, I mean, their last moments together on that plane. And I hope they got to tell each other they love each other, you know, at least hug each other one last time. Because I know it had to been hard to uh, experience something like that. Especially when you have your child on the aircraft with you. And not to say that he probably didn't think about his wife or his other kids. But in that moment, in that moment, your mind is on the child that's with you. Because everybody else ain't on the plane. So, you know, that's what really got to me the most. His thoughts, his moments, you know, their last moments together on that aircraft together. And I know it just had to be tough because... You know, we can't sit there and imagine. I mean, that's something that happened that he can't control, she can't control, can't nobody control. None of that. And it's just a sad situation. Um, so, you know, my heart goes out to the family and the fans and all, you know. Like I said, I don't want to sound cold-hearted or nothing like that. You know, it is a sad situation. And I do feel bad for the family. Um, but I'm not going to be like some people. They're going to be like, you know, they crying real tears. They probably is crying real tears, you know. I just, you know, I have people that I'm a fan of, but it's not like to the point to where I, you know, got them posters and stuff like that, you know. But anywho, um, but I just wanted to come share my thoughts about that. And I know a lot of people be like, and you know, it, even though it's shocking, you know, we all got to go one day. As much as everybody want to live and live forever, we all got to go one day. So, you know, just live. All I can say is live your life to the fullest. Um, you can't wait on tomorrow because tomorrow ain't promise to nobody. Um, whatever you want to do in life, go out there and do it. Um, the time is now. You can't wait to tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Guess what? We know the last this could be our last couple of hours for all we know. You know what I'm saying? Um a lot of people was like, you know, you don't, don't hold no don't hold no grudges against nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any grudges against nobody that have done me wrong. Um 
people may say I hold a grudge because I don't talk to some people that have done me wrong, but it's not a grudge. It's me loving you from a distance. I don't have to, you know, talk to nobody. You know, if people ain't got me and my kids in their best interest, family or not, I can still love you, but I can love you from over there. I had my near-death experience a year ago when I got real ill. And that taught me a lot about people, especially family. So, I feed them with a long hand and spoon, like a lot of people say. So, you can still love people. That don't mean you love from this, and that don't mean you hold no grudges. You don't have to. In a moment where I almost lost my life, and correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm in a moment where I almost lost my life, and you know I'm on a deathbed, or you know there's that the doctors are basically just saying they don't know where I'm making or not, and you know this, but yet. You made no contact. You didn't check it, check on me, nothing like that. That made me feel right that you didn't give a fuck. So guess what? If you don't give a fuck, that's fine. You didn't give a fuck about me. I ain't check on my kids. None of that. I still love you. I love you from over there, though. I'm here. You over there. Point blank, period. I don't need that type of negativity in my life because I already been through too much. Um, still going through too much, but it could be worse, so I'm not going to complain. But, um, like I said, you know, keep your circles small. If you have a big circle, just make sure the people that you know that's got your back. That's all I can say. That's all, all I need in this life is people that I know love me. And the most of the people that I know love me, they ain't my family. They ain't. Dang, show like I found out a whole lot. I got a whole lot of love from people that I didn't think care that much about me. When I got sick, that's why I say, in your darkest moments, God will teach you a lot. God will show you a lot. And um, I thank God for that experience. I thank God that I made it through that experience because I used to be in a depression state of mind a lot. Of why people used to treat me that kind of way. Especially if I know. Especially if I know. I ain't did shit to them. Or nothing. You know what I'm saying. Me. I, especially when it came to family. I try to be there for them if I can. You know. What family don't say some shit behind each other's back. Uh, who, who don't do it. But. It ain't something that goes on all the time. And it ain't nothing that's horrible. You know what I'm saying. But. I got tired of asking God why. I got tired of all of that. I got tired of being depressed about it. I got tired of crying about it. I ain't doing that no more. I'm not wasting no more of the precious life that God blessed me to still have on negative energy, fake people, people that don't give a fuck about me. I'm not wasting no more time with them type of people. Period. I'm not doing it. But anyway... Y'all comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'm finna go eat with some breakfast because I gotta take my um, sand checks. Yes, y'all. I am on day seven with those pills. That's this gonna be my updated video with that. Um, day seven. Um, and like I told y'all, the first day or two, maybe three, that I was taking it, I had still had a cigarette or two. And you know, I smoke. But I haven't had a cigarette since Thursday morning. So, this is day four of me not having a cigarette. Now, I'm going to be honest. I guess it crossed my mind. Because, you know, I'm used to going to take some more breaks at work. Especially at work. That's when it kind of hit me the hardest. Um, that let you know that's when I do most of my smoking at work. But, um... Like I said, um... So, I hadn't had a cigarette since Thursday. Uh, I really don't crave it. It just kind of sort of crossed my mind. But um, I think I'm doing pretty good. Because when I think about, oh, when I think about going to get me a little cigarette, like one cigarette won't hurt. But then I know I'm going to feel bad. Because that that have been a broke my, four day, my three day or four day streak or whatever. So, I ain't doing it. So, I, I'm fine for now. But, um, I go back in two weeks for a follow-up, so we'll see how that go about that. Um, y'all comment, y'all comment. Please subscribe to my channel. I ain't gonna be nobody scared to subscribe, but please subscribe to my channel. Um, 
Like, comment, share your thoughts uh, about the whole situation about Kobe Bryant and his daughter. I did not know that she was a baller like that. Um, you know, you know, it, you know, and it saddens me. You know, it's a sad situation. Um, a lot of people say something shady about the whole thing. So y'all comment, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about it, because a lot of people say it, they just think it just wasn't no accident. Just had no accident. They think somebody. I don't know. People saying they some shade in that. I don't know. I think stuff mal malfunction all the time. You know, Aaliyah, she died in the car. I mean, not car wreck. A plane crash. So, I mean, you know, people say a whole lot of stuff. So, I'm going to insert some pictures. Um, they also had a video of, of the plane crash. Uh, I think that's, hopefully that's, you know, I don't know if that's it. But I've seen it and I got it. So, I'm going to post that at the end of this video. Y'all have a blessed day. I'm finna give me some breakfast so I can take my pill and take me a nap. Bye.